What's going on, Welty family? Welcome back. Today's lesson, we're doing some 045 flux core welding in the 3F position, running some long runs, okay? How to run a bead flux core 3F vertical up, all right? I know I'm ready to burn, are you? Let's get to it. All right, Welty family, we're here, we got this tacked up. Um, so this tutorial is pretty much going to consist of just running one bead all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. Now you're probably thinking, okay, why is this one bead? A lot of people have trouble running vertical up flux core welding. They either have two things wrong with it. They're either going and they're, taking, they're going too slow and it starts to drip or it starts to dig through. So it's really, really important to watch your puddle at all times when you're coming up, okay? Um, Essentially, you're going to be using these uh, or running these type of beads when you're doing a lot of tanks, right? If you're inside the tanks and you're in the corner of the tank and they want you to run a whole bead all the way to the top, sometimes you're going to have to start from the bottom, right? Or come from the bottom side and you're going to have to come all the way to the top. Now, you can stop and restart if you want. Um, I'm the type of person that I don't like to stop. I like to keep going all the way. I don't really like to see how much tie-ins, right? But you can always stop, but for me, you want to get as much comfortable as possible and just run a straight beat all the way. Straight beat all the way. So that's what we're going to do today. It's a pretty simple tutorial, but also it's an advanced tutorial if you have trouble running flux core vertical up welding. Okay, we're running 0 for 5 uh, Kobe wire, and when how, when, what I'm going to run is at 24.5 volts and around 300 to 285 on the wire speed. Okay, you don't want to run too hot if you're running vertical up. If you're running at 26 volts or 25.5 or 27 volts, um, you're gonna dig through, depending on what thickness of metal you are welding on. A uh, quarter of an inch thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and run. So it's pretty much an angle iron, y'all see. Uh, if you could just imagine the tank coming out this way, right? You're in the corner, coming all the way up this way. So we're just gonna run this bead. While we run this bead, okay, uh, by the way, I'm running at 75-25 uh, gas, 75% 75, 75 argon, 25% CO2. You want to make sure that your angle of your gun is not like this. So if I'm going to run my vertical up, I'm not going to be doing it like this, okay? No way, Jose. You're playing with a lot of gravity here. It's going to just want to drip. So you want to have it at least straight, zero degree, or about a 10 to 20 degree running vertical up. You do not want to come like this and start changing and going like this, no. You want to be here, and you want to run it all the way up. Try to get as comfortable as possible and stay where you're at all the way until you hit the end point. Again, why we're doing this tutorial is because, again, a lot of people, I had a lot of trouble running vertical up flux core welding. I wouldn't be consistent or my beads would be kind of wavy a little bit or be heavy, then flat, then heavy. You have to be really consistent when you're running this bead, because if not, then you're gonna get a lot of inconsistencies, okay? Uh, so that's why we're running this tutorial. I hope it's helpful for y'all. So right now we're gonna go ahead and run. I'm gonna put my, my, uh, my hood on, put it down, strike this arc, and, uh, and go to town. But like I said, this is gonna be a helpful tutorial if you have to run a long bead and you don't wanna stop, okay? Uh, especially vertical up. We're not running down, we're going uphill. So let's get to it. All right, Road to Family, so right now, the first inch and a half, maybe two, three inches, I'm gonna show you what not to do, okay? So this is pretty common uh, when you're running vertical up, so check this out. I'm running and I'm running too slow and it starts to dig. Here we go, watch. You're going too slow. Right, you're going too slow. And it really just starts to dig in there. And it starts to leave big old humps or you're going way, too, like you see that? Or you're going way too fast. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to dig, don't be doing none of that, right? So I'm gonna stop right here so you can see exactly what you need to do. All right, well to family. So here in the very bottom, very common mistake, your angle's wrong, right? Remember you had to weigh it two up and you got start getting wagon tracks. Here, I went way too slow, and it started building real heavy here. Now, it looks pretty decent, but um, in reality, when, when I'm looking at it, it looks real heavy right here. 
Usually it blows through by then, especially if you're welding something thinner than a, than a quarter of an inch. Right here, I went way too fast. You're going way too fast. You're thinking it's going to drip on you because you're running vertical up and stuff, but uh, you're not giving enough time to spread on the walls. So this is, very, this is not good. Uh, this is not good, and this is not good. Uh, again, this looks correct, but it, it's really heavy here at, at one spot. Uh, so right now, from here in this restart, I'm going to run it correctly. You're going to see the proper uh, movement. Uh, I'm going to do like a drag, but kind of a little weave pattern at the same time and run it all the way up. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start, and you're going to see the proper way of how to do it. Really watch your puddle. When you're running this, uh, making sure it's spreading on both walls, and you want to run the same amount of movement. Oh goodness, I knew it. All right, well, two family. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and restart. Now, this is the proper way of how to run it. Make sure you're watching your puddle and seeing the puddle spread on both walls. Once you see it spread on both walls, then keep that consistent movement going all the way up, watching your puddle the whole time, okay? Don't be going too fast and too slow because if you go too fast and too slow, then you start getting into consistencies. Okay, so here we go. Make sure you get nice and comfortable and you about to have about a quarter of an inch stick out on your wire. Here we go. All right, so right now I'm kind of going side to side a little bit, but taking my time, dragging it up, watching the puddle, making sure I'm not going too fast or too slow. Watching the puddle hit both walls. I'm gonna go all the way nice and comfortable. Don't be all stiff because then you're really gonna trip. Make sure your nozzle's pretty close, but not too close, okay? Don't be having it out like that. Make sure it's in. Again, you're gonna be doing this when you're doing a lot of tank work or shipyard work. You're gonna be running long welds on the 2F, 3F, 4F position. So make sure you're running at a good heat. Like I said, you can stop if you want to. But me personally, I don't really like to tie in as much. Watching that puddle the whole time. Make sure you're breathing, <laughs> that's really important. Because a lot of the times you feel like you have to start breathing in order for you to control it right. That's false, make sure you're breathing. Make sure you have the right PPE as well. All the way, almost there. And then you stop. All right, Walter family, there you have it. You see the difference. You see the difference on when you're going too fast and you're taking your time letting it spread, okay? You see I was way too heavy here, and here's more, more consistent. So I did it without stopping and went all the way up, okay? All right, Weld 2 family, there you have it. 3F, vertical up, flux score 045 welding. I hope you learned something. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down low. And you can follow us on all the social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook, all at WellTube. I appreciate all y'all support, guys. God bless y'all. And another thing as well, competition. Our national high school welding competition for juniors and seniors is in 19 days, 11 hours, and 16 minutes, man. It's gonna be crazy. If you haven't signed up, Sign up at www.scwellingacademy slash high school welding competition. Okay? I hope y'all enjoyed it, guys. Another thing as well, the judges is going to be me, Bob Moffitt, Travis Field, uh, Jacob Schofield, and uh, Jimmy Bling Knight from Art Junkies. Okay? It's going to be a great time. Hope y'all come by. All right? 100, man. What do you mean? 100. 100. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, we just hit 100,000 subscribers too. That is insane. 100K subscribers, guys. That is awesome. Check this out. Zoom it in. 100K subscribes. That is insane, man. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. It's a team effort. I just found out right now, so that's insane. Gerd just told me in the back. I appreciate you, bro. Um, 
100,000 subscribers, this is a big deal for us. You know, we never thought we were gonna get to where we're at now, but it, I wouldn't be where I'm at by the grace of God. We wouldn't be where we're at by the grace of God, but also we wouldn't have the content that we're having if it wasn't for y'all spreading the word about WellTube. I appreciate y'all, God bless. We're gonna keep y'all giving y'all great content. Next goal is the silver plaque, right? We need that silver plaque play button, right? <laughs> we're gonna put it right on the back of the wall over here. Another thing as well, next goal is 200,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all, okay, God bless y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one, peace.